Hey everyone, welcome back to the homestead. We're glad you're here. We got a lot to do today, but we're going to show you today how to take care of a nasty disease on your fruit trees, and that is canker. We're going to show you how to treat it, remove it, and hopefully prevent it in the future. Stay with us. So we're out here in the orchard next to the house and we'll also be taking you into the orchard on the other property to show you some different areas that the canker is attacking on our apple trees. This happens to be our Dorset golden apple tree and it is attacking the trunk on this one. We have a pink lady just over here that we've already treated and we'll show you what the progress is on that. We will show you the step-by-step -step process and how to remove the canker. And this canker is a fungal uh, infection that can happen for many different reasons. Uh, you know, there's mechanical damage to the tree, there's insect damage to the tree, so on and so forth. But nor most commonly in apple trees, it's called a European canker, and that's fungal. There are bacterial cankers, uh, but those don't normally attack apple trees. So let's show you the simple tools that we're going to use and to how to remove this canker from the tree. The tools we're going to use for this job are our pruning shears, a chisel, and this special pruning knife. You see it's got this hook on it and it makes it a little bit easier to carve around the infected area and get that out, that canker out of there. Now you can see at the bottom of the tree here we've laid down this piece of craft paper. You want to do that because you do not want any of the shavings that uh, infection that you're cutting off the tree to get down near the base of the tree and to sit there because it will continue to spread. You want to take this as far away from your trees as possible and either burn it or put it in the trash can. Make sure that your tools are exceptionally clean and disinfected while doing this process and even do it throughout the, the pruning process and taking off this canker on this tree and definitely before you get to the next tree. We've got some Really strong alcohol here, 70% in this envelope moistener bottle. And we just take that. It's really easy to do that. We found this is really the best method to do it. It's a really cool method. Take that and you just clean off your tools. And that's it. Now we also have this tree pruning sealer here. Now there are competing thoughts on whether or not to seal the wound after you're done pruning or to let it heal in the air. Now you know if you put a band-aid on your skin and you keep it there the entire time, the infection could stay. You want to get some air to it at some point. So we're going back and forth and, and seeing and experimenting on our, our trees whether it's good to seal it or not. In this case, we are going to seal this up because we hope to get all that canker out of there. Okay, on this specific apple tree, we've got two really bad areas here of canker, and this portion up here is quite large. This, there's a smaller one down here, but it's wrapping all the way around the tree. We want to remove as much of that infected wood as possible and get down to clean wood. Now, at one time, I had put some uh, sealer here without pruning, so we're gonna need to take that out and clean that out as well and hopefully that stopped some of the infection from spreading. Let's go ahead and just start to pull away all that dead wood. Now you can see we, we get to clean wood almost right away here, but in the center we've got an issue. There's a lot of dead wood in here and I see a lot of fungal activity. You can see that this fungus has gone all the way down to the heartwood already, which is not good. It has gone past this cambium layer and gone into uh, the center of the tree. So hopefully we can save this guy. You can see on the top wound here that we've got a lot of the infected wood out, but there's still this brown wood, uh, this brown layer and this heartwood here that we need to kind of peel back and get everything nice and clean down to that clean, bright wood. Make sure you try to leave your cuts as smooth as possible and this will help the tree in its healing process. 
everything's jagged and rough, then it is going to take more energy from the tree, more effort from the tree to really heal itself up. As you can see at the bottom of the tree here, we've got a really serious infection. And we started to carve this away and you can already see we've got this uh, white fungal growth here and that is a really, really serious problem. Now, when you're carving this out as with the top portion, you do not want to uh, carve completely around your tree because that's what's called girdling and that will kill the tree. So make sure you leave enough wood Hopefully the canker hasn't spread all the way around the trunk. This trunk is quite tiny. We leave enough wood so that uh, the tree can take up its nutrients and its water as it needs to. And that is done through the cambium layer, which is just under the bark. So be very careful and don't going, and not going all the way around the tree and not girdling the tree. Now that we have that canker cut away from those two wounds in our trunk of our tree, I'm gonna take two additional steps. One of those is I'm gonna actually let it dry out for several hours and get some sun and start to heal that wound on its own. And then I'm gonna hit it with uh, some copper solution. So that will hopefully take care of uh, any additional fungus that does remain on those open now wounds of that tree and kill those. I'm also going to take this little blowtorch here and I am going to, once I remove this uh, paper with all of the fungus cuttings on it away, I think some did fall down next to that uh, trunk onto the ground. So I'm going to give the ground a little once over here with a flame and hopefully eradicate any extra pieces of that bark that fell down that could have canker in it and could reinfect my tree. Now let's take you over to one of our other apple trees and show you a branch that has canker on it and we will show you how to take care of that. So we're out here in the other orchard next to our pink lady apple tree and as I showed you just a second ago we had some nasty canker here on one of the branches very close to the trunk. This isn't a very big trunk so we want to be very careful because this canker can kill this tree really really quickly. We cut this off, make sure your pruning equipment is very sharp, we cut this off as close as we could get it to the trunk here and now we're actually going to do an additional uh, trim around there to try and get any canker spread away from this trunk. You can see also right next to it, right above this branch, we think this is some more canker starting, so we're going to take care of that as well by clipping this off and then trimming that out. We can always induce branching later and uh, get our tree to uh, have the shape that we want it at a later date. That's no big deal. First thing we need to care about is the tree surviving. So we're gonna worry about structure later. We're just gonna worry about the health of the tree right now. So we're gonna to continue to prune around there and get all of that canker out there the same way we did with the other one. Well, we hope this video was informational for you and it'll help you out in your orchard. We're gonna to continue to work on the rest of our trees here. It's gonna take quite a while because that canker spreads fairly quickly. So thank you. We appreciate you being here. We want you here on a permanent basis like we always say. So hit that subscribe button, like the video, share us on social media, go visit us on countrylivingexperience.com. Once again, thank you and we'll see you on the next video.